This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Everybody in the photography world loves accessories, whether you're shooting digital or whether you're shooting film. But when it comes to film photography, it seems like part of our culture is to take photographs of our gear and really just to kind of appreciate the older kind of vintage feeling that these analog cameras give us. And so it makes sense that a lot of film shooters love to accessorize. Film photography accessories can get pretty expensive. And so I've kind of seeked out more of the budget friendly options that not only get the job done, but can get it done better than some of the higher branded items out there. So that's going to be the focus of today's video. We're going to be talking about my favorite kind of cheaper film photography accessories that won't break the bank, but it'll give you all the performance that you need. All right, you guys, now the first accessory that I have for you is very, very simple. Every photographer is gonna need some type of bag to carry their gear along with them. Now folks, my first accessory today is going to be a camera bag. We're gonna be focusing on a bag from a company that makes some of the most amazing camera bags on the market at an affordable price point. This is the Brevity Roamer. Now, I've used this backpack now for over two years, taking it on countless trips. It's my everyday backpack and I can hold my laptop in here. I hold my Pentax 67 gear. I can even throw a jacket in here. Uh, but one of the great things about this backpack and the backpacks made from Brevity specifically are that they are designed for photographers who just want to have a functional backpack. They implement features that are necessary rather than just trying to throw, you know, random kind of just features to get everybody's attention. For example, the necessary straps for tripods as well as here on the bottom. They make other backpacks like the jumper, which is going to be more suited to the everyday shooter, kind of smaller. Uh, but, you know, there's tons of backpacks from Brevity that you can choose from for your desired photography needs, man. But I have the Roamer and being that I shoot a little bit of everything, this has been the most versatile backpack for me. So keep your gear protected man grab a backpack like I said I prefer brevity bags over any other backpack company and they're not paying me to say this is not sponsored uh, I just really enjoy their backpacks so yeah check it out you guys brevity backpacks I really do enjoy mine all right so the next thing on this list you guys is something that I use literally on an everyday basis and that is a camera strap now there are different options out there for camera straps that you want to go for but personally one of my favorite strap types i guess you could say is the rope camera strap now here is the rope strap that i have on my leica it's kind of like this olive army green right here uh, it's nice and thick and one of the good things about these rope straps is that there are tons and tons of different companies that make them i'll be honest with you i forgot what brand of strap this was but i'm gonna leave some links in the description below to some of my favorite straps that i have purchased myself they make your camera look really really nice they're durable and they're thick and i've never really had an uncomfortable experience with a rope strap overall man rope straps are really stylish and honestly they just make your camera look really good but offer that functionality that you need for everyday shooting so I would highly recommend you guys go with a rope strap. It really all is personal preference. I just prefer rope straps over any other strap, um, but that's just me. Really quick, I wanna take a second to thank our sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is your all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Now you guys know, I've built my website from the ground up with Squarespace and even made my own online shop to sell prints and camera gear. The e-commerce features allow you to pretty much control everything from inventory, design, pricing, and so much more. It's as simple as picking out a template and dragging and dropping. Now, if you're a photographer like me who doesn't know much about website building, Squarespace makes it super easy. And if you don't have your own website yet, I highly, highly recommend you guys make one before the new year. Head over to squarespace.com slash kingjapes for 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or website or use promo code kingjapes at checkout for 10% off. I want to thank the folks over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video, but now let's get back to our accessories. All right, you guys, next up is probably the only accessory on this list that's going to save you tons and tons of money. Now, I plan to do a separate video on this, but let me just say it here right now. The next accessory, folks, is a bulk loader. If you've never heard of a bulk loader, and maybe if you're new to shooting film, what you can do is you can actually purchase some of your favorite films in bulk rolls. 
I personally love Ilford HP5 and I bought 100 feet of it for about 80 bucks. Now with a bulk roll loader, you can essentially get around 20 rolls out of the 100 foot roll of HP5, which, let me do some math here. All right, so 80 bucks for around 19 rolls you're only paying about $4 per roll of film, which is a lot cheaper than paying the $8 that you generally would for a single roll. So if there are film stocks that you really, really like, try to find them in bulk and buy one of these bulk loaders right here. I'll make a tutorial on how to bulk load film, but you can roll your own film yourself and it doesn't really take much and you could be on your way, man, saving tons of money just bulk rolling and loading your film. Granted, this is not gonna be for everybody. Not everybody wants to shoot the same films all the time, but if you are a photographer creating bodies of work or maybe you just want that consistency, buying your film in bulk will not only save you a ton of money, but it's just gonna be super convenient because you'll have all of these rolls at your disposal. So definitely check it out, you guys, and stay tuned for that video on bulk rolling film. Next up is something that I have just acquired recently, and I never really saw the importance of it until I finally got this one right here. Now, regardless if you are shooting a camera with a built-in light meter or without one, the next accessory I have for you guys and that I would highly recommend is an external light meter. This one right here, you guys, is from a company called Kex. And what I love about this one is that it's super, super small and you can actually have different mounts to fit different cameras. So you can have different positions in place. It has a nice LCD screen on the back so that you can see, you know, all the settings, your ISO, your shutter speed and whatnot. It's all gonna be displayed right here in this nice kind of display. But yeah, man, light meters weren't always something that I appreciated because I always, you know, wanted to learn Sunny 16 and just be able to read light by eye. But in those trickier situations, especially if you're shooting something like slide film, uh, having one of these is essential. Now the Kex light meter is the one that I recommend, but there are other you know, branded light meters out there, for example, from Leica or from Voigtlander. But again, I'm gonna leave some of my favorites down below in the description. Consider picking up a light meter for your film cameras. You won't regret it, trust me. And my last and final accessory on this list, you guys, is something that comes in handy so freaking much on a lot of my like landscape shoots. Uh, now, if you guys have ever shot long exposure photography, you guys know that a lot of times you're gonna need to shoot with an ND filter. But one of the issues with ND filters is that if you buy a singular filter and you have different lenses, you won't be able to use that same filter on your other lenses because they're gonna be different filter sizes and you're gonna need to buy duplicates of the same filter and it's just overall this waste of money. Well, my next accessory pretty much defeats that issue and that is a universal ND filter. Now this thing right here, you guys, is made from a company called KNF Concept, and this is not sponsored once again. This is just something that I've used so, so much. And essentially what this is, is you're gonna have your filter right here, which is removable from the frame. Now this filter, because there's no mount on it, is gonna be pretty much universal on all of your lenses. And you're gonna ask, how are you gonna put this damn thing on to a lens? Well, it's very simple, folks. All you have to do is use the step-up filters or step-down filter rings that come with the package. Now, there's gonna be included in the package here different sizes of filter rings, some small, some big. And all you really have to do, folks, is screw this onto the front of your lens, just like any other filter. Oh. Now, once you get this locked into place, folks, it's kind of stuck on there, man. So you can use this filter pretty much on all of your different lenses because it has, and it comes with a ton of those step down rings. So this is something that I would highly recommend for landscape shooters looking to get a nice ND filter for the money. I would highly, highly recommend you guys pick one of these up, especially if you have lenses with different filter sizes. Don't buy a ton of different ND filters for all of them. Just buy one of these and you are all set to go. So that's going to pretty much wrap up my entire film photography accessories video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have anything else you guys want to recommend. I'm always open to seeing, you know, the different accessories out there. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. As always, hit that subscribe button down below. We got a giveaway at 100K, but that's going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, Minolta Gang. Whew.